are given x1 by 1, x2 by 2, x3 by 3. We need to find out the area of a triangle. So let us see how to draw this. Area of a triangle is, is nothing but half into modulus of x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2. This value will be in the modulus. Here, the vertices of a triangle are given. So, let us take this on coordinate axis. X coordinate, x axis and y axis. The point of congruence of x axis and y axis. Let us take it as O. And a triangle. We know that it is ABC. ABC is a triangle AX1 by 1, BX2 by 2, CX3 by 3. So here, let us draw perpendicular lines from B to OX. B to OX and also this is X axis. So B to OX we draw a perpendicular line. A to OX also we draw a perpendicular line. And C to OX we draw another perpendicular line. Let us take this perpendicular line is meeting OX at take the name as M and and H. So clearly we can observe here there are trapeziums are formed that is B M and A, B M, B M and A, and also A N H C on the trapezium, and then B M and B M H C is another trapezium. To find out area of triangle A B C, we'll take these two trapeziums, and then we'll subtract the third trapezium. Then we'll be getting area of a triangle A B C. That is B M and A plus a and H C plus it is supplied B M and A is added with A and H C and subtracted with this value B H B C H M. So then we'll be getting area of triangle A B C. So let us find out the distance between these two points is and M is x1 minus x3. So, sorry, this value we need to take it as x2 y2. This is the point A is x1 y1, B x2 y2, C x3 y3. So, here the distance between these two points is x1 minus x2, x1 minus x2. The distance between these two points is x3 minus x1. So, Mn is equals to x2 minus x1 and Hn is equals to x1, x3 minus x1 and to find out the distance between Hn, Hn is equals to x3 minus x2. So the distance between the points, the distance between the parallel sides we found, let us find out the, the distance of the length of the parallel sides. Bm is equals to Bm is equals to y2 Am. Bm is y2 here y2 and An is equals to y1 and Ch is equals to y3. So let us find out the area of triangle ABC. We already discussed triangle ABC is equals to Area of triangle ABC is equals to area of trapezium area of trapezium P M and A plus area of trapezium A and H C subtracted with area of trapezium B C
So let us take the formula for area of trapezium. We know that area of trapezium is half into half into sum of the parallel sides is multiplied with the distance between the parallel sides. After finding the area of triangle ABC, like we need to find out the area of triangle ABC. In that, we have found the values of these all. So let us write this values here. AM is equals to x2 minus x1 and hn is equals to x3 minus x1 and hn is equals to x3 minus x2 and other values are here bn is equals to y2 bn is y2 and an is y1 and ch is equals to y3 so let us take this values So triangle ABC is equal to trapezium BM NA is nothing but half into BM NA is equal to sum of the parallel sides is BM plus AN into distance between that is MN plus half into half into there is a trapezium here, next trapezium. Sum of the parallel sides is AN, AN plus HC into the distance between them is HN. Next one is subtracted with this half into sum of the parallel sides is, is Y2 that is BM BM plus HC into the distance between them is HM. So let us substitute these values in this half into BM plus AN. BM is Y2 plus AN is Y1 into MN. MN is and n is equals to the distance between them x1 minus x2. Second one is half into a n plus h c. A n is y1 plus h c is y3 into h n. h n is x3 minus x1. Third one is half into modulus of, sorry, half into Vm plus Hc, that is sum of the parallel sides y2 plus y3 is multiplied with Hm is x3 minus x2. So after let us multiply these two terms. Before that, we can see that there is a 1 by 2 common in this all the three terms. So let us take a common of 1 by 2. And we can see that there are some of the terms in this y2 plus y1 into x1 minus x2 plus y1 plus y3 into x3 minus x1 plus y1 plus y2 plus y3 into x3 minus x2. So let us simplify this. So half into let us multiply with this x1 and x2 x1 by 2 plus x1 by 1 minus x2 by 2 minus x2 by 1. First we multiply these two terms. We got this term. After let us multiply these two. x3 by 1 plus x3 by 3 
minus x1 y1 minus x1 y3 we multiply with these two terms and there is we know that after adding these two trapeziums we need to subtract this trapeziums there is a minus value here previously we added these two trapeziums and subtracted bchm so there is a plus value in this between and subtracted with the third so there is a minus outside so minus we are taking then we multiply with x3 x3 y2 x3 y3 minus x2 y2 and minus x2 y3 half into bracket of x1 y2 plus x1 y1 minus x2 y2 minus x2 y1 plus x3 y1 plus x3 y3 minus x1 y1 minus x1 y3 let us multiply with minus minus x3 y2 minus x3 y3 plus x2 y2 plus x2 y3 let us close this bracket then half into bracket let us see the terms in this here there is x1 y1 and x1 y1 will be cancelled in this and x3 y3 and x3 y3 will be cancelled x2 y2 and x2 y2 will be cancelled so there is a plus and minus values are cancelled in this so what is left out is x1 y1 sorry here x x1 y2 minus x2 y1 and plus x3 y1 minus x1 y3 and there is minus x3 y2 plus x2 y3 let us write these terms half into we can see here there is x1 in this first term and there is x1 in this term so we can take x1 in common so x1 will be a take in common so we will be getting y2 minus y3 and then when we take here there is a x2 here and there is a x2 here then when we take x2 common in this plus x2 when we are taking common so y3 minus y1 and then there is an x3 here and there is x3 here and also x3 here so when we are taking x3 common x3 we are taking common this is a plus value and then we will be getting y1 minus y2 let us write this one triangle abc is equal to half into modulus of this these are the brackets we are changing into modulus. The reason is the distance between the distance of the or points between the points, all those things, and as well as area of the triangle. If area of triangle ABC is in positive, area of always always will be in the positive value. That's the reason we'll take any negative value Z and we'll take it as positive. If it is positive value, we'll keep it in the positive value. So to make the negative value as positive let us take the modulus value so modulus is into x1 minus x1 into y2 minus y3 we are repeating this x2 minus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 modulus will be closed this is the formula for area